Breaking news, Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, trending matapos sumugod sa isang napakadelikadong lugar para sa isang mabigat na misyon. Dito mo talaga makikita ang totoong kulay ni PBBM mga kababayan, siya lang ang buong tapang na nakagawa nito. At take note mga kababayan, grabe ang ginawa dito ni PBBM, nakakatindig balahibo. Kaya siguradong mag-iiyakan na naman ang mga anti-Marcos dito sa video na to. Na naman mga kababayan, huwag na natin itong patagalid pa. Samahan niyo ako at sabay-sabay nating alamin ang mga maiinit na balita sa araw na ito. Bilang testamento ng hindi natitinag na pangako ng administrasyon ng Marcos sa pagpapatupad ng walang tunggalian sa Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, Mindanao, pinangunahan ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang pagdiriwan ng ika year anniversary ng Comprehensive Agreement on Bangsamoro Camp Iranon, dating kilalang Camp Abu Bakar. Sa munisipyo ng Barira, Maguindanao del Norte. Dahil dito, nag-alay ng isang korona sa Marine Warriors Memorial upang parangalan ang katapangan at sakripisyo ng lima tatlong nasawi ng mga Marines, Sundalo at mga Mandirigma noong All Out War noong taong 2000 na kinilala bilang Center Mindanao Campaign. Hindi lang ito mga kababayan, itinurn over din ni PBBM ang Certificate Availment of 785 Beneficiaries ng Department of Labor and Employment tulong pangkabuhayan sa ating disadvantage Displaced Workers or TUPAD Program na nagkakahalaga ng 3 milyong piso. Ang pagdiriwan ngayong taon na tinaguri ang Comprehensive Agreement ng Bangsamoro isang dekada tungo sa mapayapa at masaganang Bangsamoro ay muling binisita ng makasaysayang bakuran ng Camp Abu Bakar na nagsilbing isang matinding backdrop sa mga pananalasa ng All Out War noong taong 2000 bilang isang unang Muro Islamic Liberation Front camp at tirahan ng mga MILF founder. Kasama din sa pagbisita ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa Maguindanao ang pagbibigay tulong pinansyal sa mga sundalong sugatan or wounded in action soldiers na kasalukuyang naka-admit sa Battle Casualty Ward sa Camp Brigadier General Gonzalo Xonso, 6th Infant Division Philippine Army Headquarters na matatagpuan naman sa Barangay Awang, Dato Udin, Sinsuat, Maguindanao del Norte. Si PBBM ay namahagi ng mga cash check na nagkakahalaga ng 100,000 pesos bawat isa sa pitong sugatang sundalo mula sa kumakailang Operasyon laban sa Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters sa Dato Saudi Ampatuan Maguindanao del Sur. As we gather here today, we have earned the right to make this claim. The gains from 10 years of peace have undone many of the pains that have been caused by decades of war. Kung dati ito ay ito ay lugar ng labanan, ngayon lugar na ito ng kapayapaan. Kung dati, kung dati dugo ang dumadanak dito, ngayon kaunlaran ang dumadaloy. We knew that peace to our people will be found in the businesses launched, in the jobs that were created, the schools, the new hospitals that were opened, the farms that were irrigated, the roads that will be constructed. To us, there is only one peace. And that is when the bloody tally of war is replaced by the scoreboard of development. Peace is totally achieved not when the sound of gunfire has ceased. It is when the clamor for better lives has been met. Let us continue to work together and march in unison as we implement our whole of society approach in our mission to uplift the lives of the people of Bangsamoro. Peace is achieved by working relentlessly. The crusade for peace and the cause of development should not hinge on whims nor depend on where the political winds blow. It requires a strong political will. And as president, I will exercise that strong political will for the success of the Bangsamoro region. Kailangan buo ang loob natin dito kasi marami pang trabaho nakaantay sa atin. As your president, I reassure that you will have an honest, orderly, and credible conduct of the electoral process. Let this also serve as a warning to those who may plan to threaten and derail this upcoming election. Wag nyo nang isipin yan, dahil ang kakalabanin na ninyo ay ang pamahalaan. Sa ikasampung anibersaryo sa paglagda ng kab, 
Ipinangako natin na hindi na tayo papayag na dadanas muli ng kaharasan ang ating mga anak. This is at the core of our policy towards transformative action that brings genuine change to the grassroots and this is the soul of the camp. Your sacrifices and hard work continue to safeguard the lives of our fellow Filipinos and preserve the hard-won gains of the peace process. To this day, you continue to show the true essence of service and of selflessness. For that, a nation of more than a hundred million provides to you a very, very heartfelt gratitude and a snappy salute. Through meaningful dialogues with stakeholders, including the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and other peace-inclined groups, we have helped foster an environment conducive to peace and prosperity in Bangsamoro. You have also provided the foundation because what you have done in preserving the peace provides the foundation for reconciliation and healing in a region that has long experienced conflict. I thus urge you to continue to work hand in hand with the communities, including the MI and the MN affiliated groups, through their leaders and through our local chief executives. You must forge partnerships based on mutual respect and understanding. We can overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of peace and progress in this way. Even as I ask you to be peacemakers, you must continue with your core competency as war fighters because the fight is not yet over. I am happy though to say that we, the enemy is not taking the fight to us anymore. We are taking the fight to them and that is a sure sign of success. The upcoming first BARM parliamentary elections in May 2025 will represent a big milestone in our journey towards a meaningful autonomy and a peaceful Bangsamoro. I am sure that you have the ability, I know you have the ability to secure a safe and honest conduct of these elections as this will lay the groundwork for a Bagong Pilipinas.